October 17, 2004. People cork us in the alley this evening. A woman in a black sandal is selling her body for money while smoking a cigarette that will leave a bad taste in the mouth. A young boy is walking and snatched by a kid. Walking down this alley made me realize how dirty this city is. Ten years ago, I've seen his true face. Accumulated filth of all their sex and murders. Soon, will be flawed by blood and will foam up about their ways and all the whores and politicians will look up and shout, Save us! And I look down and I whisper, No. 300. Juicy mo? Pangit mo na ha? Baday mo pa? Time check. 2.30 a.m. Exactly 30 seconds from now, a murderer of a woman and a sex offender will come out right from the back of a bar where we always drink in Campbell's. Undeniable fact, everyone denies that at its heart, the world is a cold place. It doesn't care whether you live or die, or how you live or how you die. To the world, you don't matter. <coughs> <coughs> Right on time. People see me as a hero. Some as a monster. I'm just a person who finished what the law couldn't. Society refuses to take the necessary steps to save itself from itself. Accepting this truth was liberating. Gave me clarity. Gave me a mission. I understand there are two kinds of people in this world. Victims and me.